slowly but surely drones are humming their way into our lives. And while some cities are trying to limit their use, one city is aiming to make them a part of everyday life. It's hard to imagine a future without lots of drones in the skies, and that makes many nervous. But in Dubai, people are embracing drones with a mixture of infrastructure, a helping hand to startups, and education. Exponent is a drone tech company that set up shop in 2012 and has created some imaginative tech since, from burger delivery drones to solar panel cleaners with leaf blowers attached to them. So this is the drone cleaner. So, you know, Dubai actually has a lot of uh, dust in the air, etc. Uh, yeah, we can see it everywhere. Uh, and this basically covers the camera and causes a lot of uh, uh, problems with uh, the imagery that can be collected. Right. So this drone comes up, sprays the little bubble that covers the camera, mm -hmm. and then alongside it, another drone comes, comes up. comes up and dries it off. It could be easier to clean my light this way <laughs> in the house. It sounds zany, but these are very serious applications related to the cleaning of CCTV cameras. What's the relationship like between Dubai's government and drone companies like yours? The Dubai government itself is one of the most prolific adopters of the technology. They've created an environment where the drone industry can really, really take off. What really makes Dubai stand out is how they're keeping an eye on drones in their skies. The biggest threat that the rise of drones poses is arguably to airplanes. So we're heading to Dubai's Aviation Authority right now to see how they're dealing with that. Dubai International is one of the world's busiest airports with more than 87 million passengers going through in 2017. It's predicted by 2020, the airport will account for a third of Dubai's economy. If there's a delay here, it can cost them $1 million per minute and drones shut down the airport three times in 2016 alone. From the reports going back to 2015 with the numerous disruptions in the Dubai airspace, we came up with the SkyTrack system. The big difference between us and any other system that's available out there, the information that you see portrayed on the screen comes directly from the source, in other words, from the tracking device of which we have one here. This is an actual device that goes yes. on a drone to track it and then yeah. give you this real-time information. Correct. This technology is here to stay. So Dubai has taken up the challenge and said, how do we develop and improve, manage, and monitor the technology that can be used today instead of waiting for 10 years? To say that we would rather rather um, uh, ban it or otherwise not have it operating within the Emperor of, of, of Dubai is going to be counterproductive. It's a delicate balance though. Managing the skies is a big step to regulating drone use. That means hurdles to fly over for some drone operators. You could go to the uh, civil aviation and ask for a permission. They give you a permission, there's no problem. They give you a permission to fly within one hour freely. But we want a one year blanket approval. I want to fly as much as possible. While the Aviation Authority plans for the future of drones, Dubai-based startup Eniverse is trying to invent it. The company's partnering with American firm Skycart and aims to be the first to bring drone delivery right to customers' balconies. Dubai is kind of the New York of the exactly. Middle East. So People want it now. Want it now and they want it different and me alone. Dubai is an, an innovator early adapter in any new product. Why are you doing a drone company in Dubai specifically, not somewhere else? Yeah, because Dubai is considered to be a lab because of the infrastructure. Uh, not only uh, roads and traffic, technology infrastructure, free zones, and uh, the ability for startups to start from here and then expand elsewhere. With the drone industry booming in Dubai, even drone education is catching on. Places like the American University of Sharjah are starting their own courses to satisfy high demand for drone jobs. And all this means drones aren't just here to stay, they're ready to take off.